Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading, and it's going to be for your monthly for April 2023. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's get into reading. As always, asking that your spirit team join us um, as these messages are made for your highest good. So we're just going to see what cards want to come out for Capricorn. Uh, drop it into our heart space. Let me get a drink of coffee real quick. Hope that wasn't terribly loud. Uh, <clears throat> wow, the Ten of Cups. That's kind of great, right? The first card to come out, the Ten of Cups. And this is the Urban Tarot that I'm using, by the way. So the Ten of Cups is a completion. It's a feeling of, um, well, it's a feeling of completion. It's a feeling of emotional satisfaction, um, happy with the results, or just, you know, happy in general. So, so, I mean, so maybe you're working on this completion. It did come out like this. So it is probably something that is still, there are things that are in the works, right? But if it, it's, when you get this card, you should be able to even feel the excitement of the energy of the Ten of Cups. So if you're feeling something like that, then maybe that's why. And why? Because you're in your own element. You even got your card. So you got your card. This um, can represent Capricorn energy, but so what does Capricorn energy mean to the Queen of Disc? Well, she's going to be very, like the qualities or traits that she would have would be somebody that can manage um, pentacles, finances, the family also, and can like arrange and organize everything. And that's why um, it's, it's not only the matriarch card because it's the, she can do everything, but it's also Capricorn for the planning and um, the strategy. And I feel like this is about your Ten of Cups, of course. So if that's what you've got coming to you in April. It doesn't seem like it's going to be bad. It seems like it might be a good month for you. <clears throat> Ace of Cups. Um, okay, yeah, beautiful, right? beautiful energy this is um something new something that it's the pathway that leads you to your ten of cups or it's possibly after a completion where you have your happiness your ten of cups and then here's something even on top of that <clears throat> you see all the water like coming out it's representing all of these overflowing with uh, good emotions and good feelings. It can be a Love Begins card um, for some. What else do we have? We have the Two of Wands in the reverse. So I'm going to say that these are probably your main things, um, is that you're going to feel like yourself. You're going to get closer to this completion here, this happiness. But... Also, I think your uh, challenge might be, can you clear your mind or clear your head? Um, because it looks like this is like a lot of stuff to deal with. So regaining focus, but how we do that by clearing our head or clearing. So this, it, and, and it might be saying, use this energy um, for these plans or for making some kind of plans. Oh, wow, the Empress. Didn't this one want to come out earlier? This one has come out earlier. Hmm. So this could be your energy, too. <clears throat> um, it looks like it might be part of a challenge of some sort. The Nine of... The Nine of Swords in the reverse is finding, like, an, an answer or some kind of solution. Um... 
what is this focus? Why? Let me get another deck and we'll find out what this is about. It could be about needing to clear your head from thinking about or overly thinking about maybe this Empress energy. <clears throat> it can be that a little bit more planning needs to be put into some kind of home business or um, something that you're creating. Okay, give us more information about what you really mean with the two of wands in reverse. The two of swords. Gosh, it's a really huge hint to me that if you see this um, reading then and there's all these twos, there's going to be a new relationship coming in. There's something you're trying to deal with here. It has to do with making a decision, but it also has to do with people being kind of like on opposite sides. Um, Pisces got a very similar message, very similar. But these, this two of swords is, is indicating that um, the want for a peaceful resolution is there. <clears throat> okay, weighing out your options. So yeah, it might be the advice to um, clear your head and then refocus on maybe two different, you know, two different things or something like that. Tell me about the Empress energy. Why is it a challenge? Hmm. 1010 in your reading. Well, you got the 110 of cups that indicates a lot of happiness and emotional fulfillment. You, this Ten of Cups indicates that, but as soon as I can say that things are good and looking good, there's also this feeling of I've been betrayed and walking away from something where you had been betrayed. Um, and that's also like little by little with the Ten of Swords. Tell me more. I call it death by a thousand paper cuts. Like if you're <clears throat> thinking about how to describe the hurt of it, it's it's not huge things, but it's a lot of little things um, that add up. You have another ace. Wow. Ace of cups, ace of wands. Both are associated with really strong passion, levels of passion and love begins. Doesn't have to be love, but it's really indicating that you may be walking away from something that it was really hard and there's some kind of new inspiration here. Um, but there's definitely a message that, hey, there's these aces of cups that are here for you in the month of April. So I guess just be really aware of that. All right, give us um, give us more messages then about how we can manage this, um, how we can ask for the best outcome, what kind of advice for the best outcome. To have the um, most positive outlook is the message with that, with the page of cups. It's being hopeful instead of doubtful. There may be something about planning more, too. But, but looking at the glasses half full. It's a really pretty picture. It's almost like her behind her head is this sign of in this art, like enlightenment. Um, but, but it's like she's a piece of artwork here. Got all the food on the table and stuff and the brooch and that brooch is even interesting because it kind of looks like what they're trying to convey with enlightenment but I've never seen really anything look like that unless it's representing like a wheel of sorts 
<clears throat> Whoa. What else to have? I have the lovers in reverse. Okay. Lovers in reverse. What else do I have? Lovers in reverse. What else do I have? Uh, somebody has made a decision. A decision, I bet it's the same thing. Yeah, I thought I, I thought that it was the same thing. Um, but it's it's the extra card. So when this one comes out, that everything is not fine. But I'll say this, it's in the reverse, meaning that you process um, this information where you feel this lovers could indicate somebody that um, that you don't think has made the wisest decisions or the best judgment, the most sound judgment, like wasn't there. But it's completely, um, it's after you've put the worst behind you and you've reinvented the situation. I don't know if it's this is that that's showing up though because I feel like something completely ends. This I feel like is a past energy because it usually it's it's not saying it's not tarot saying hey warn them they're going to make a bad decision. No, it's it I believe it sincerely saying that everything wasn't fine because of this looking back on this bad decision or what was a bad decision or somebody's poor judgment and. No, everything's not fine, and that's um, that's that's evident. Now you have, and there's ten tens. I mean, ten swords there, so it's ten, ten, ten. All right, let's get the Kipper deck. Let's just add to this because I want to find out more about whatever this bad decision was or is that we're putting behind us. You've got the motherly figure or the matriarch and the empress. Really heavy, divine feminine, um, all about the cornucopia. You have a huge new beginnings with these aces, two aces. Um, putting something behind you is the opportunity. Is the opportunity. Mm, 39, community. That always reminds me of a SIM card. I don't know why, but it just always reminds me of a SIM card. Um, community. Okay. Some kind of decision that was maybe that was made uh, out in the community. Journey number ten. 10 the journey wow another 10 um this is very similar to the full energy right of going um going on this journey it's been hard it's not been easy <clears throat> but the train um is is coming or the train is here to take you on some new sites <clears throat> courthouse maybe a hopeful situation regarding court or courthouse or the courthouse or maybe you have to do some paperwork or something that involves going down to the courthouse especially with this community thing all right what else the lovers but it would have come out like that so would this one have so that, I, I think that if you're dealing with someone where you're like, yeah, that was a really st stupid decision they made, that that might be what this energy is, like trying to move away from ultimate, I have mature woman on the bottom of the deck here, Capricorn. What time have we got? 1420. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. So, I mean, it's pointing in the direction that it could have to do with that. Let's pull another one from the urban um tarot we'll pull something to close with this reading if you need a private reading reach out i'm of course finishing my youtube ones first and then and on that there's 33 um wow 33 so three of pentacle is is saying that something is in the work and laying down the groundwork 
or something, yeah, um, cooperation, looking at this situation as, okay, well, this could be, maybe it was a bad decision, but there's something that can be built from it. It's the opportunity that arises from the time that it feels like we just, we end up leaving something like that behind, or that feeling behind. End of a situation. Anything else? Judgment, five of wands. Um, placing judgment, uh, not playing games with the five of wands in the reverse, really not playing games. Um, not wanting the drama, understanding that your focus has to be there. <clears throat> Queen of Cups, taking good care of one's body, mind, soul, spirit, right? Power and the high priestess, both or four of pentacle in the reverse, the high priestess in reverse. I think it's about letting go to the attachment of having to know some things you will only have a feeling intuitively, but you will not know the exact thing. And, and it doesn't mean that you're not tapped in to your high priestess energy. It just means that something maybe isn't being revealed because it's part of a purpose in a, in a, and maybe the part is to take something down so it can be rebuilt. But even, so even this is being, in a sense, kept from you. And all you're being told here is make sure you love yourself and take really good care of your health and all of that. This judgment is a little bit different. This judgment card is having us reflect on all the ancestors, you know, that helped us and, um, and the people that we know and love on the wall. So... So that's about showing your appreciation there, too, for that. Um, not wanting things to be hard anymore. Like wanting something to be, can't something just go easy? That's kind of like what I'm getting. It's can't something just go easy? <laughs> All right. Major life change. Jeez. Time is right now for major life changes, such as new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. And then I have challenges. Take out time or take out Take time out from problems or conflicts and approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Right. And then let's see what we got here. This is about um, feeling tone when um, when you're feeling an object or noticing something through your senses. It's kind of saying that, um, I, that I guess it's better to look at something as neutral instead of desirable or undesirable, for example. Um, and then this one is loving kindness. Yeah, uh, they're all the same, but it says, may I be filled with love and kindness. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May I be healthy and well in body, mind. I'm going to say and spirit. May I feel free from suffering and be filled with joy and happiness. Loving kindness. So that's for you. It is for any anyone whose love has benefited you or for a neutral person or for someone that you have difficulty with. It's all wishing the same things um, for the good things for these these situations and people that are in your life. So that's what I've got, Capricorn. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.